Hi, boys and girls. So last time we listened to a story called Abiyoyo. And there is a sequel, also written by Pete Seeger, called Abiyoyo Returns by Pete Seeger and Paul Dubois Jacobs, illustrated by Michael Hayes. One day, a little girl played her drum as she marched around town. Biddy pum 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 biddy pum pum. Let's all pretend to play the drum. Pum biddy pum 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 biddy pum pum. Her father played the ukulele. Her mother played the flute. The three of them made up a family band. If there was a wedding or a birthday party, the little girl and her parents were always invited. But their little town was in trouble. Over the years, it had grown quickly. The valley that was once covered by forests was now bare. Every spring, the town had floods. Every summer, the town had droughts. Something had to be done. The townspeople put their heads together. If we build a small dam, they, could, they said we could catch the spring rains and save the water for the fields in summer. After careful planning, the town started to build the dam. Everybody had to pitch in and dig, dig, dig. But guess what happened? They struck a boulder. It was bigger than it looked at first. See, there's the boulder. Can't see it so much, but it's pretty big. The townspeople thought they could dig around it, but the more dirt they, they removed, the more rock they uncovered. The boulder was enormous. They tried pulleys and levers and winches. The boulder didn't budge. Work came to a halt. Look at that big boulder. Now, in this town, they still told stories about the giants who lived in the old days. And one of these stories was about the giant Abioyo. They said he was as tall as a tree and could eat people up. But the little girl knew that long ago her father and grandfather had saved the town by making Abiyoyo disappear. Papa, said the little girl, I bet Abiyoyo could move that rock. Her father left. I suppose he could. Then why not bring him back, she said. Grandpa still has his magic wand. Once Abiyoyo moves the rock, zoop, zoop, Grandpa can make him disappear again. Bring back Abiyoyo, said her mother. The giant that eats people up? We can make him lots of good food so he won't eat us, said the little girl. And if we run out of good things for him to eat, asked her mother. Sing him lots of good songs, said the little girl. He won't get mad at us. Songs, said her father. That might not work this time. But if we don't bring back Abiyoyo, said the little girl, we'll never get this dam built. So that afternoon, the family went to see Grandpa. Bring back Abiyoyo, Grandpa exclaimed. A hungry giant is very dangerous. But no one else can move the rock, said the little girl. Perhaps you're right, said Grandpa. He opened his trunk of magic things and pulled out his wand. Let's see if this dusty thing still works. And with a zoop, the little girl's drum suddenly disappeared. Hey, Grandpa, give that back. Zoop, the drum reappeared. I guess I still have the magic touch, Grandpa said with a giggle. Over the next few days, everybody in the town cooked their best recipes and practiced their best songs. Finally, they were ready. Grandpa built a special fire out of special wood that made a special kind of smoke. Then he waved his wand and recited the magic words. Zoop! Zoop! There was Abiyoyo, big as ever, big as a tall tree with his long fingernails and his slobbery teeth and his sinking feet. Women screamed, Eek! Strong men fainted. Oh! Abiyoyo has returned. Abiyoyo yawned and stretched. Oh, I'm hungry. The townspeople brought out platters of spaghetti, tofu, chicken, and shrimp, rice, veggie, fruit, and all sorts of good things to eat. Abioyo opened his mouth wide. Yelp! Oh, spaghetti platter. Gone. Yelp! 
a tray of strawberry shortcake. Soon, Abby yo, yo had eaten everything. Yum! The giant rubbed his tummy. The little girl bravely walked up close. Abby yo, yo are you still strong? She asked. Of course, roars Abioya, strong enough to lift that huge boulder. So Abioya picks up the enormous boulder and throws it high in the air. Up it goes, 100 feet, 200 feet. Down it comes, crump. Hooray for Abioya. People hug each other, they dance. Dogs bark for joy. I'm hungry, fellows Abioya. But the food's all gone, Abioya frowns. The little girl grabs her drum. Pum biddy pum 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 biddy pum pum. Her father starts playing his ukulele. Plinkity plink plink. Her mother joins in on her flute. Tootly toot toot. Everybody begins to sing. Abi yo yo, abi yo yo, abi yo yo, abi yo yo. It's my song. Abi yo yo, 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 yo yo. Abi yo yo, abi yo yo. The band plays faster. See if you remember the song. You can sing along with me. Abi yo yo, abi yo yo, and faster. Ooh, abi yo yo groans. I'm tired. He lay down and closed his eyes. Soon he was snoring. Now's our chance, whispered the little girl. But where's Grandpa with his magic wand? He was right over there, her mother pointed. Oh no, cried the little girl. Grandpa, are you all right? I'm okay, said Grandpa. The boulder just missed me. But where's your magic wand? The little girl whispered. I'm not sure, he said. Uh oh, where's that magic wand? They gotta make him disappear. Here it is, said the little girl's father. Everybody looked. First at the broken wand, then at the snoring giant, then at the little girl. You got us into this, the townspeople said. Now get us out. See that? The wand is all broken here. The boulder broke it. There's only one thing to do, said the little girl. Let's make Abi yo, yo lots of good food, then he won't want to eat us. And if we sing him lots of good songs, he won't get mad at us. Very sleeping. So in time, the little town learned to live with its giant. Abi yo, yo slept in the barn with his head sticking out. Look at his head sticking out. On one side and his feet sticking out the other. There's his feet. He even learned to brush his slobbery teeth. And he got so fond of the little girl and her parents, they became like a family. They even helped him wash his stinking feet. And the townspeople... Well, with Abi Yo Yo's help, they built their small dam. Most important, they never forgot the need to share good food, and they never forgot how to share good songs. And the last anyone saw, Abi Yo Yo was happily planting new trees. Ready? And then they start singing his song Abi Yo Yo, Abi Yo Yo, Abi Yo Yo, Abi Yo Yo. Abi yo yo bi yo yo bi yo yo. Abi yo yo bi yo yo bi yo yo. There he is. He's helping to plant some trees. So he turned out not to be such a mean, scary giant after all, and he ended up becoming part of that village. So I hope you enjoyed the story, and see you next time.